Hi, it's Linda. For many years, I've been collaborating with First Nations people in and around my hometown of Red Lake, Ontario. A group at the Native Friendship Center in Red Lake wanted to make jingle dresses for a powwow that was finally to be held after years of powwows being outlawed. It finally was a celebration that a powwow was being held in the open for all to see in Red Lake. It was a a big thing, and I was asked if I could help provide the materials for girls to make jingle dresses. Anyway, this was my first glimpse into the exorbitant prices that people in the north are paying for simple things like fabric or jingles or things to make regalia for their powwows. I was really happy to access my suppliers and found that I was able to find things for really, really good prices for them. So it's really exciting. And in these photographs, you'll see some of the young women with the help maybe of their grandmother making jingle dresses. Some of the fancy dancers could buy um, supplies basically to add to their regalia. And, and it's also possible that, you know, the people in these communities might just want to make basic shirts or, or just have a chance to get together and make things with their own hands, having proper equipment and materials and thread and scissors and all the things that are needed. I don't have the photographs of the actual sewing circles yet, but I will be sure to send them to you when the first sewing circle is underway. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Linda. For many years, I've been collaborating with First Nations people in and around my hometown of Red Lake, Ontario. A group...